First, you'd plug in the zero here. You would get zero raised to zero power. Well, actually, that is an indeterminate form. It's just not very common, so it's not in my cool little list down here. Where's my list? There's my list down here. Okay, zero to the zero power is an indeterminate form. Okay, so how can we use L'Hopital's rule to do this one? Okay, so here's the first jump. You have to understand this in order to understand what I'm about to do. Um, do you guys agree with, do you understand that 5 equals e raised to the natural log of 5? Now, this is a log thing. And if you're really bad at logs, then this probably doesn't make sense to you at all. Here, here let me give you another one. x equals... 5, no, not, no more 5s, uh, 3 raised to the log base 3 of x. They're, they're kind of the same exact thing because natural log is just log with a base e. Okay? So here, here's the thing. Uh, an x, a base, like, like 3, is the opposite of a log. This is an exponential function. This is a logarithmic function. These are inverse functions of each other. You know how like if you were to add 3 then subtract 3, you're back to where you started? Because addition and subtraction are inverses of each other. Same with multiplication and division. Well here we have, uh, I, I call it base e or base 3, but it's, it's an exponential function with a base 3. And then we have a log base 3. Those are inverse functions. And so these essentially just cancel out. Same with this. So 5 equals that. And that, that's, that's, that's cool for us. Why? Because now I can use that, that idea, the e with the natural log thing, with this. Because if this right here, x to the x power, is inside of a log, we can get rid of the exponent. And that's what we want. We don't want that exponent there anymore. Whenever you have a function like an x inside of an exponent, you're going to use natural log to get them out. So you can then take the derivative of them and do stuff with them, okay? So, watch what I can do. Um, we're going to say l limit of x as it approaches 0 from the positive side. And I'm going to say e raised to natural log of x to the x power. So that's our function now. I just added the e and the natural log in there. Now, why would I want to do that? Because check it out, look what I can do now. I can get rid of this x right here in the exponent, and I can put them right here in front of the natural log, which is cool. So that was the first leap that I'm saying that you guys would probably have a hard time jumping across for, is this right here, doing this e natural log thing. Now here, I, I'm hoping you're seeing why I want to do that, because then I could drop the x. All right, so how do I take the stupid limit of that thing? All right, well, you see this e right here? That e uh, is not affected by our limit, right? Because it's the x that's changing, not the e. So look what you can do. You can rewrite this as e raised to the limit of x uh, approaching 0 from the positive side of x natural log of x. So the e gets to come out. Why? Because it does not affect the limit. And, I, and really, it's just for a show, really, because now I'm hoping that you can do that. You can do this right here. You can find the limit of this. You could ignore that E right there, and you can do that. Actually, we just did that. Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember what the answer was? Zero. It was zero. What does that equal? One. It's done. Okay, let me remind you guys how to do that limit part. That's this part right here. Okay, so if we're taking the limit as x is approaching 0 from the positive side. Now, I just did this on that other video. Um, we have, uh, now it says x times natural log of x, but I need a fraction. Because if I just do x times natural log of x, the limit of x as we approach 0 is 0. And the limit of natural log of x as we approach 0 is infinity. So we have... 0 times infinity, which is indeterminate. And just as a reminder, here's your natural log graph. As we approach 0 right here, 
uh, this graph is going towards negative infinity, which in our case, we just care that it's infinity. It is indeterminate. So we want to use L'Hopital's rule. In order to use L'Hopital's rule, we need a fraction, and this thing is not a fraction, and so we're going to rewrite it so that it is a fraction. So we're going to say the limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side of natural log of x over x to the negative 1. You guys remember that? Yeah. Ah, and then we take the derivative of the top, take the derivative of the bottom, we get 1 over x divided by x to the negative 2. Oh, you guys remembering now? Yes? No? Oh, need a negative there, too, because you had to drop the negative 1. Good looking out. All right, and then we're going to pop this guy up because he has a negative exponent, so it's going to say times negative x raised to the positive 2 power. And then if I multiply 1 over x times x squared, that's going to give me negative x. And so I'm really just taking the, uh, the limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side of that, which we know to be 0, which is why I can write 0 right there and just get 1.